It's number 25 from the 2012 AP Calc Multiple Choice Set. Another non-calculator question presents us with this differential equation, this initial condition, and asks us for the solution to it. So when you solve a differential equation in Calculus 1, the main method you're going to be considering to use is separation of variables. So I wanted to get the dx over to the right side of the equation along with the 2 sine of x. I don't even have any y's over here to take to the other side of the equation to join the dy. So the separation step is pretty nice. I do an antiderivative on each side to develop my solution. Antiderivative of 1 with respect to y is y. And then the antiderivative of 2 sine of x is going to be 2 times negative cosine of x. Uh, and then that's the side that we want to add our constant onto. So there's not even any need to solve this for y. It's already done. So this is a pretty nice solution to develop because of some of the things that we've seen happen throughout these first few lines. We have this initial condition putting pi in place of the x and putting 1 in place of the y leaves us with this equation and we just have to solve that equation for c. So you have to figure out what cosine of pi is. So if you go to a unit circle, toss pi onto that unit circle, you have an x coordinate right here of negative 1 and that's why I've got negative 1 replacing cosine of pi since the x coordinate of a point on the unit circle gives cosine of that angle. Continuing to go through the, the last few lines here and solving for C is going to give us a C value of negative 1. And it looks like our answer has matched up with option E.